Hello, I'm Michael Casenza. Hi, I'm Julie Kehl. Hi there, my name is Professor Virginia Jean. My name is Michael McCambridge. My name is Dr. Maureen Riley Warmer. Hi, I'm Cynthia Jew. Hi, I'm Professor Ed Julius. And I've been a faculty member in the Graduate School of Education for 18 years. 45 years as a faculty member, but I also graduated from California Lutheran College in 1969. I have been teaching here for over 25 years. Well, it's full faculty about 22 years. It's 2009, which would make it 15 years this year. 19 years. Well, I've been employed uh, at Cal Lutheran for 43 years now. One is the very first grant that we receive for our professional development schools. My friend and colleague, Dr. Mike McCambridge, was the principal investigator, and we were awarded $1 million to provide professional development to both our teachers in the school district and our teacher candidates. Another proud moment was when our professional development school network received national recognition from the National Association for School University Partnerships. And last, my last proud moment that I unfortunately won't see through because of my retirement is the National Science Foundation $1 million award we just received last year to prepare new teachers for the STEM subjects. I have too many to come up with just one, but I feel that I have made a difference in some of my students' lives based on emails that I get periodically and one just yesterday. And that is what makes the whole thing memorable and worthwhile to me is the idea that I've done something good in someone's life. Favorite Calo memory over the 25 years that I've been teaching here in terms of accounting and finance is the book that I published over a five-year period called A Village of Knowledge. And it's the interviews of individual business, very successful business owners across the street at University Village. And Gerhard absolutely was very effective in helping me reach out to these individuals in this community. But this is our book. It took five years to write. It's absolutely so exciting the highlight of my career. Well, it, truly, it's about working with uh, faculty and students, primarily students. Uh, we were able to uh, really work together in terms of building the major, and uh, we, we uh, went from something that was fairly small to something that was rather large, and th these are memories that, that I will hold, you know, with me throughout my rest of my life. My favorite memory has to be the um, opportunities for students to showcase their research. Um, the master's students showcase their work in the GSOE Festival of Scholars poster session every year, and that's really exciting. As well, um, the undergraduates showcase their artwork in the Honors Art Show in 2022. I think my most memorable moment in teaching was when my uh, second daughter, we were involved in um, developing the uh, deaf and hard of hearing program. Um, and then being part of bringing cultural proficiency to counselor education. One of my early memories that very few people probably remember is that the uh, faculty and students, administrative staff and, and anybody else on, on the campus on one weekend, sometime in the 1980s, we hand carried tens of thousands of books from the old library, which I think was uh, in Alumni Hall, to the then brand new library. We actually hand carried it over one weekend, and uh, I love that memory. I look forward to some travel while I'm well enough to do that, spend more time with my grandson, and my grandson that is on the way, my daughter's due on August 1st. I look forward to coming back to campus as well for special events and to mingle with the professors that are uh, my colleagues. 
and have been my colleagues. We're going to be doing further additions for a University Village and a Village of Knowledge. And I want to do podcasts. I want to do streaming. I want to do audio tape and videotape. And that's, you know, generally, I think the path that I would like to take going forward and also teaching part time. I would like to travel with my husband. We have so many places that we would love to see. And um, we're looking at possibly getting a camper van and driving across country. I think aging is something that is a gift that not all of us get to, to have. So I'm going to take time to, to travel and to really enjoy the things um, that I didn't get to do and that I probably should have paid attention to. I will miss everything about Cal Lutheran. I will miss the students. I will miss teaching, which gives you a chance to be a little bit of a performer, which I think I had a uh, little yin at some point in time <laughs> to perform. I'll miss my colleagues of uh, the psychology department. Really, the whole social and behavioral sciences are wonderful. So I'm going to miss all of those. Again, I think it's about the, the students. And, and the, the great part of what's been happening lately is that students who graduated and went on to be teachers of, of always asking me how I'm doing and, and have good memories about that. And that, of course, will fade away, and I will miss that. I love the daily interactions uh, with my students and colleagues, uh, whether, you know, in class or outside of class, and uh, that's what I will miss most. So it's not goodbye. It's see you again soon, Cal Lutheran. I will see you, Cal Lutheran. I will miss my wonderful colleagues and my wonderful students and my adorable office. <laughs> but I hope everything goes smoothly for y'all. Goodbye, Cal Lutheran. It's been an absolute joy, such an experience, so exciting. I have loved every second of being here and I can't believe that I'm saying goodbye and I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm going to say hello for the next, say, 25 years. Bye-bye, Cal Lutheran. Bye, Cal Lutheran. I'll miss you dearly. See you, Cal Lutheran. Thank you so much for the 19 years. Okay, Cal Lutheran, uh, as Arnold might say, uh, I'll be back. You can't keep me away.